Angus, come so. C. difficile is one of our leading um, concerns of infections that can be acquired in hospitals and it can be quite severe and even sometimes fatal. So we're very uh, interested to detect C. difficile in patients so that we can implement the right treatment and the right precautions, but also we know that it stays around in the environment. So we want to make sure that the environment is as clean as it can be. When Angus came down the hall, he was uh, trying to detect the scent of C. difficile. So there were containers that had both negative and positive, uh, well positive scents, and then uh, containers that did not have the scent of C. difficile in them. When we went into the room, uh, which looked like a simulated patient room, that was really testing his ability to search different areas. And also in that same room, there were four or five negative, what we call hides, and then one positive which he detected quite well, actually. Good job, buddy. Yeah. My husband was just browsing through the internet and found an article on a dog named Cliff in Amsterdam who was trained to find C. diff on patients. I had just recently had C. diff, and I was also working with bomb dogs and drug dogs at the time. He came home and said, hey, can you teach a dog to find C. diff? And I told him, if it's got a smell, I can teach a dog to find it. Angus can sweep an area very, very quickly. and. This would be, you know, if a room still may potentially be a source, it would help us target with extra uh, measures to make sure that environment is, is clean and safe. Good job. I'm hoping we hear from lots of other health authorities on how they can start training their own C. diff dogs and that Angus goes and, and visits some other um, medical settings where he gets a chance to search. So then it, it, it just ends up being a big snowball effect and we can start uh, decreasing the rates of contact C. diff. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? There you go.